Windows Server 2012 and Hyper-V have increased and help increase availability through clustering, quality of service enhancements, dynamic memory improvements, and NIC teaming. In this demo here, I'll show you how you can set quality of service policies to limit network throughput on a virtual machine. In this example, I'm going to show you how you can use quality of service to rate limit the traffic associated with a virtual machine. So I have a virtual machine here, a domain controller, and if I look at the settings of the virtual machine, I can see under the networking adapter that I don't have any bandwidth management enabled. The virtual machine can use all the bandwidth within that system. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect to the system and I'm going to specify a, a setting within the environment to copy a large file from one Hyper-V system to another. So now what I'm doing is I'm basically setting up the communication between two physical systems and I'm going to start copying a large file from this original system here to my domain controller or that DC system that I had shown you was not set with network bandwidth limiting. So we see the virtual machine has started to copy that multi-gigabyte file. And now what we're going to do is specify bandwidth limiting on the system through a PowerShell commandlet. So we're going to set the network adapter and we're going to set the maximum bandwidth that this virtual machine can use at 5,000. Okay, at this point, if we go back to that file copy and we look at the bandwidth we have through the system, we're seeing that we get about 1.89 megabytes per second. It was running faster until we set the bandwidth limiting. Now it dropped it down to 1.89 megabits per sec megabytes per second. Let's go back to that system and we'll rerun this command but we'll remove that maximum bandwidth. So right here we'll now set the band maximum bandwidth to zero which basically says don't don't set a maximum bandwidth let it use all the bandwidth at once. And when we run this command if we go back to the virtual machine and we click back on the uh, file copy and look at it now we can see that now it's running at 30 megabytes per second. So by changing the setting for the quality of service, we're able to dynamically specify how much of the either maximum or minimum amount of throughput this virtual machine can have. With the enhancements within Windows Server 2012 through things like the clustering enhancements, quality of service, dynamic memory, and NIC teaming, you now have an environment that will allow you to run those services knowing that you'll be able to give them the availability and the service levels that they require.